Good morning, New Canaan High School. I'm Brendan Baker coming to you live from the NCTV studio. Today is Friday, March 1st, and a day G. And I'm Katie Kubera. We hope that you've all had a great break and are adjusting back to school. We have a lot of announcements for you today, but before we get into all the news and updates, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, the 11th Annual Fashions Night Out will be held tomorrow in the auditorium at 7 p.m. Come watch the seniors strut their stuff down the runway in fabulous fashions provided by Jack Wills, A Step Ahead, and Togs. If you haven't already done so, you can buy your ticket at the door for $20. And a reminder to all models that there is a mandatory dress rehearsal tonight in the auditorium at 5.30. Be sure to stay tuned at the end of the broadcast for a little preview. I'll be there, Katie. Well, it's March, so you know what that means, caps. Well, testing begins next week for all sophomores, and the schedule changes affect everyone. Not to worry, though, because Jake Morris caught up with Dr. LaDuke to find out the latest. Hey, NCHS, I'm Jake Morris, and you might be wondering what all these boxes behind me are. That's right, it's this year's CAP tests. All sophomores and some juniors must take the Connecticut Academic Performance Test for two weeks every March. The test will include math, science, writing, and reading. To get the latest, I'm here with Assistant Principal Dr. LaDuke. There seems to be changes to CAPT every year. Are there any major ones this year? This year, the biggest change, Jake, is that we're moving the tests, the majority of classes, upstairs to cut down on the distraction that students might experience as other kids walk by. It seems like a lot of information to take in. Any final advice for students taking the tests? Well, our students are well prepared, and we hope that they'll get a good night's sleep and eat a good breakfast and come to school relaxed and ready to do their best job. The CAPS officially began next Tuesday, March 5th, with all classes meeting on Monday. If you're still confused about the schedule, check out the NCTV message board. This has been Jake Morris for NCTV. Good luck to all students taking the tests. Thanks, Jake. If all that testing has you hungry, good news. The NC station will be open during CAPT week. And for those of you giving up meat for Lent, the store is now selling bagel bites. Speaking of testing, the deadline for registration for AP exams is today. If you have not already done so, please bring a check made out to NCHS Guidance for $95 to the College and Career Center if you want to take the test. Like ASAP, get it, AP. Well, moving on, this year's Harry Potter themed drama fest is right around the corner. If you want to submit a script, hopefully it's already written because all scripts are due today. You can drop them off to D. Alexander or Lizzie Iman. Another visual and performing arts bit of information, you can now purchase your tickets to shows online. To buy them, the link for the ticket purchase is located on the NCPS homepage under Parents. And don't forget, Beauty and the Beast is coming up March 21st to the 23rd, so get those tickets. In other news, if you enjoy a good book and a slice of pizza, the Somewhat Virtual Book Club will be meeting in the library this coming Wednesday at 6 p.m. They will be discussing the book Deadline by Chris Crutcher with other schools, as well as a virtual meeting with the author. So, Brendan, I wasn't really able to keep up with the sports this past week while I was on break. Well, no worries, Katie, because NCTV's newest rising star, Johnny Ossendorf, has the latest. Go for it, Johnny. Thank you, Brendan. Uh, hello, folks, and welcome to another edition of the Rams Sports Report. I'm Johnny Ostendorf. With boys and girls basketball both finished for the season, hockey mania has been sweeping the school this week. Boys hockey took on St. Joe's on Wednesday, and the result? An instant classic. As always, NCTV was there, so let's go to the tape. The three-seeded Rams took on the two-seeded cadets of St. Joe's. We pick up the action early in the first where Harry Stannon puts the biscuit in the basket to give the Rams an early 1-0 lead. Late in the third, Rams up by one and St. Joseph's Christian Keeter ties the game at two by beating the tender, so we're headed to overtime. Four minutes into the overtime, St. Joseph's Sean Smith hits the game winner and hands New Canaan the heartbreaking loss 3-2. But the Rams will have a chance for redemption as they take on the Cadets in the first round of states next week. Meanwhile, girls hockey fared better as they 
took on Sinsbury in states on Wednesday. The Lady Rams demolished the Trojans 5-1 with goals coming from Olivia Hump, Madzi Carroll, and Catherine Granito. The ski team hit the slopes yesterday in their last regular season meet of the year. They ended the season with a 15-7 record and will be heading to states next week. Well, that about does it for the Rams Sports Report this week. Brendan will be back next week with a full preview of the spring season. For now, I'm Johnny Ostrendorf. Thank you, Johnny. Speaking of sports, Randy the Ram is missing. That's right, the energetic bighorned animal was borrowed from the athletics office and was never returned. The school has been looking for our beloved mascot since last week. So if you know where the costume is, please return it to Miss Tomaselli in the athletics office. Separately, we need the costume for our next commercial. So if you have it, return it ASAP. So Brendan, it's finally beginning to feel like spring. What can we expect for the weather this weekend? Well, Katie, it looks like we won't be enjoying any spring weather quite yet. Today will be partly cloudy and a high of 48 degrees. Tomorrow will also be partly cloudy with a high of 45 degrees. And Sunday will round out the weekend, you guessed it, by being partly cloudy with a high of 42 degrees. Well, that does it for today's Friday broadcast. Thanks for joining us this morning. And as always, if you want to see your announcement on a Friday broadcast, please email us at nctv78 at gmail.com or tweet at us at NCTV78. This has been Katie Kubera. I'd love to get a mention from NCTV, Katie. And I'm Brendan Baker. Don't forget tomorrow is the Senior Prom Fashion Show, so we leave you now with a little preview. Have a great weekend, NCHS.